Poppin' y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at one of our Spider-Man Far From Home sets, uh, which isn't related to Spider-Man Far From Home at all. We have a spider glider uh, here. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it is some form of spider glider. Uh, just looking at it. Uh, it does have some very nice uh, design. It does look like a spider if you're standing up like that. Uh, I know my hand's in the way. Uh, so there you go. It looks like a spider there. Oh, it looks like uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man symbol. Got some nice stickers at the back. I don't know how to present this. There you go. Some nice stickers along here, which can be lifted up to reveal a uh, Spider-Man bomb in the back there. Nice little detail. I uh, can close that up as well. Uh, I don't know how he sees through this, but his front cockpit does have like a gold windshield on it. Uh, no detail inside there, but it's enough room for one minifigure. Uh, and if you close that up, we have a nice shield sticker here, which is like a couple of circles, looks like a couple of cameras. Maybe that's how he sees. Uh, I don't know what these blade things are for, but uh, propellers, you can spin them. Very cool. Uh, some stickers on each one of the arms uh, that go down, following from the grate. Uh, we have a spider symbol for Tom Holland in gold. I do like how they've kept the tech sort of design uh, from the inside of the Tom Holland suit. I'm going to call it you won't call it the black and gold suit. I'm going to call it the inside out suit. Because he's literally just turned it inside out. That is a suit. It's the inside out suit. There you go. Uh, you all thought he was going to fight Electro because gold is a good conductor of electricity. Nope. Literally just turned the suit inside out. Lol. Uh, he also has this new piece which didn't come in the bag. But it's a gold string which you can sort of connect a minifigure to at each end. Uh, it does have a little pin connection there. Uh... That's why it's on the T piece. Can be pulled down uh, to like I don't know who would be flying if Tom Holland was holding it there, but I have no idea. Um, really cool glider. I do like this glider. I don't remember seeing it in Far From Home, and I especially don't remember seeing Vulture in Far From Home. I mean, No Way Home, because this is back in this No Way Home set. Vulture's here. Vulture was not in it. This was probably just to get in. The only thing that connects it is the suit. However, it's a good opportunity for LEGO that LEGO took to upgrade the Vulture. This Vulture is a lot better than the original one. Give me a second. That, that is not good enough. That is not a good enough stand for him. Great, there we go. Now we get a better look at all the detail of him. Oh god, I have to pull him forward because it's huge. Oh my lord, it's huge. I did not think this through. Um... Badly. There we go. So here we go. Uh, he has a gold crystal, uh, purple crystal there for his power source, a gun. Uh, but we'll take a look at his wings. So turn him around. We have a sticker here, sticker here, sticker, sticker, sticker. Crap. And then we have stickers. Crap. All along the ends. <coughs> Pardon me. No, bless me. Wow, my brain just collapsed in like three seconds. Anyway, you can spin these propellers as well. Uh, but they don't spin as well. Uh, you can also move them around because they are on a ball joint. Uh, brilliant, my hands in the way. Sorry about that. They are on a ball joint here, so you can twist them around. Um, uh, yeah, I think this bit is a bit too long, but oh well. Uh, it's a really cool build. I do like it. You can pose the wings back as well, uh, but that makes it back heavy. Uh, just going to pop off the wings for now so we can get a better look at the figure uh, in general. Uh, because now it's time to move on to the figures. So if we zoom in right on his torso, uh, you can see some fur hood there, very detailed torso. And if you take off his helmet, which does have a new visor uh, piece, uh, which does fit around this gas mask thing, uh, you can get a look at his back face printing, where he looks quite happy and confident in himself, uh, but he still has some like mechanical stuff around his face. Uh, and we have to take the head off of this anyway, so let's just might as well get it over with. That was very squeaky. Uh, twist it to the back. We have some, like, uh, back connections there as well. With some, like, uh, clips and strips and straps to the front. Straps do continue over to, like, hold him into the suit. And then... He does look quite angry there, but his head print is very weird. Uh, it's like the guard that protects his nose and eyes, but he has to have the gas mask on to protect his mouth. Um, I don't remember seeing him like that in the film. It's very weird, honestly, but I am a 
huge fan of it. He even has robotic eyebrows. Um, it just looks really cool. I like this figure a lot. It's a very good updated uh, version of... Uh, what's he called? Uh, Vulture. We even have some gold web designs here. It's the same web sort of pack that you get in every other Spider-Man set. Them, like plastic bags with all the holes in them. Uh, and you have them in gold. And I, I swear gold is the most brittle Lego colour. Uh, and it breaks easily. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, we have a big thing which Tom Holland holds here to sort of capture the villain. But moving on to the Tom Holland suit itself. It's very detailed. And I'm a huge fan of the suit. Oh my god, it's very shiny. So I have to hold it at an angle. So here we are. We have all the like inside tech uh, sort of circuit bordery. Circuit, yeah. You have some arm printing as well, going all the way across with some gold. Uh, even the gold spider symbol in the middle. Uh, I don't know why no one picked up on all the circuit boards and circuits running through this. Um, because we did see this in uh, Far From Far From Home, when he did turn the suit inside out and they were hacking it. We also saw it in No Way Home. And Homecoming. So, I don't know why no one guessed it, but still. Uh... Pretty cool detail in the back within each square is a little circuit thing uh, or a little shape. We have some nice squares at the back as well. I'm not sure if both arms are the same. Both arms are the same. Uh, with the printing there. Looks very cool and very. Oh no, both arms are not the same. This, this side didn't have the webbing. Maybe it does. It does have the webbing on both sides. Yeah, I'm just an idiot. But anyway, the head print's cool. I like this suit a lot. I like this figure. It's a really cool set uh, for £20. It's a good set. Uh, a lot of detail in it as well, including the spider copter. There's got to be a dimension where all these Lego suits and Lego builds are real. Probably the Lego dimension, not gonna lie. Um, still, really cool set. Very glad the figures are so detailed. And they've upgraded their vulture. I'm just going to fix my vulture. Very good set. Much love to it. Um, glad I got it. Uh, and yes. Uh, other than that. I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day. And goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.